What's up? It's a Sunday morning. I just went to a wedding last night. One of my best friends, two of my best friends actually. How about that? Give an equal credit, equal recognition. This one's about isolation. Uh, don't do it. Be with people as much as you can, even if it kills you. Even if it's like the hardest thing on earth. Honestly, just do it because the alternative is you stay alone and all of your problems extrapolate. You never actually figure out anything. I mean, it's like, duh. But you never figure out what somebody caring about you is like, just don't be alone. Don't let yourself be alone. Try your hardest to, you know, get out, mingle. If you're like me, then you might have the tendency to take shit hard. You believe everybody has to be perfect in order to, you know, be in your life, you know, obviously nobody is perfect. And if you're also like me, you know that already, but it's just hard to get that out of your head, get that that notion in your head that like, you know, somebody fucks up one time, they're done. <laughs> you know, that's like, I've always held eternal grudges. If something makes me uncomfortable or if something rubs me the wrong way, I just shun it for the rest of my life. And that's not the way to live. That's not the best way to be. It breeds anger. It breeds resentment. And it just breeds fucking loneliness, man. It's like, why would you want to do that to yourself? So just don't fucking do that, you know? Go out. Do things. Doesn't matter how old you are. Doesn't matter fucking who you are. Just go be with people as much as you can. It's like, I get it. Especially if you're not raised that way. If you're not raised to be sociable. It's really hard. It's really hard to get that kind of like compassion and forgiveness for people you barely know. You know, you just instantly wall yourself off. You start playing a character. And if you're playing a character your whole life, then nobody that you meet is ever gonna really know you. And so that'll just lead to problems down the road. You know, whether it be like friendships or relationships or some shit. I mean, romantic relationships. Friendships also relationships, so. <laughs> That's just how it is. And it's always better to let shit go. Cause I mean, if it, in my case, it's always stupid shit. It's always stupid shit that like sets me off and makes me never want to talk to a person again. And that's just not right. It's just not healthy. So I'm working to change that as best as I can. I've always been short on quality experiences with people. It's been very few. Most of that is a fault of my own. I don't let anybody find out about me. You know, maybe it's some fucking weak ass psychological fucking psychiatrist term that can fucking break it down, but who gives a shit? You mainly need to be around other people because you can't learn from anything if you're alone, <laughs> you know? You can learn from mistakes that you make or you, you can learn stuff from other people that's not about them making mistakes and shit. You just learn more about them. You learn what they're willing to do for somebody that they care about. And that's more special than any ego that you could have. I've always kept like a tight, tight circle. <laughs> tight. But you'll pay the price. You'll pay the price. Like I'm getting older and I'm starting to pay the price. It's not fun. It's not fun to have nobody to turn to. I'm grateful for all that I have and um, I'm sorry for anything I let slip by. So yeah, I guess. Just don't be alone. And I'm not telling you, I'm telling me. Now check this riff, huh?